vlog 169 it's me Jaime right here the uh, the shut-in cartoonist musician vlog casting from the corner Tortilla press world headquarters located on that uh, island out in the San Francisco Bay just off the coast of Oakland mm. I'm finishing my second and last cup of coffee today organic French roast for those playing at home I'm gonna put it down because I got something in the mail Mm. And that's what I'm calling this little little vlog here. It came in the mail. Excuse me, because I have to go pick this thing up, and it's enormous. One second. Holy beans. Now, let me give you a quick uh, <clears throat> rundown. Uh, I really cut back <laughs> on purchasing stuff over the last few years. And, um, you know, and I make a little money here and there, and I... Uh, I um, look for deals, you know, every now and then I find something that, you know, oh, I've, I've always wanted that, or oh, I, you know, could use this, or whatever, because I do have stuff I also use, like clothing, but uh, this this is a, a, an item I spoiled myself with, and I found it at a slight reduction than when I first saw it come down the pike, I can't remember when it was first released, this year, but not all that long ago. But when I first saw that it was out, I just salivated. I was going bananas. Like, oh my God, but it was just a little too much. And just recently, I saw it online for, at a slight, like I said, reduction. And I said, the heck with it, I'm, I'm getting this thing. And it's enormous. That's why I had to lean over there. And I will show it to you now. It came in the mail. And it is, oh, look at this thing. It is uh, the George Herman Crazy Cat Complete Sunday Comics Color. Sunday comics from 1935 to 1944. This is just, look at this thing. This tome is enormous. And uh, oh, just give you, I love that lettering. It's just incredible. And it even has a, the Sunday comics in there all look like this. They're that size. And um, of course the intro, the, the beginning, the first, I don't know, not quite third, maybe the first eighth of the book or something is, you know, a... Uh, you know, a story, a rundown on Harriman and his life. And then I'll just, I don't want to ruin this, but bending it all out of shape. Bending me all out of shape. Holy crap, this thing is something else. Like I said, this is what they look like. Can you hear me and can you see that? These are just incredible. His work was just, just phenomenal. And if that isn't enough of this book, uh, let me show the other part. It comes in its own box with a handle, with a carrying, a carrying case box here. It's a little disorienting because I keep it in there, but uh, yeah, I got this delivered to the house. I usually go to the P.O. box, but I've been having problems with, well, I've been having problems with mail. This is on the back of it. And of course, as I told you, the, the lettering, that lettering is just something else. Let me get the glare off of there. Oh my goodness. And uh, let me set this over here. Yeah, I'm very pleased with this. I, I read a lot of it. It's a coffee table book, and I indeed used the coffee table last night to read a lot of it because it's just so enormous. You have to, you know, throw it open. But what beautiful work. And it's Tashin. You know, they're, they're a great company. I have a few books of theirs, two or three, on different subjects. I have, um, I bought one on sale at Borders when they were going, remember them? When they were going out of business. And it was a big one on, uh, not that big though on Bunker Spreckles, who is a, a, a surfing uh, surfer. And he actually, Bunker was an interesting dude, but I'm not gonna digress and go off into his life. But anyway, Tashin did the book, it was wonderful. I think I have a Mickey Dora one too, another surfer. I think Tashin did one on him, I'm not 100% I'm not on that. But anyway, Crazy Cat, I'm, I'm fanatical. I have been for probably 40 some years on George Harriman's work. Um, as a kid in the 60s, and I remember seeing this in San Francisco and especially in Sacramento on television, King Features had animation for a while. Now, I don't know if they were from the 50s or the early 60s, but I was seeing them in the mid to late 60s. And uh, it was maybe right into the early 70s. And it was um, King Features did a crazy cat cartoon in animation. Plus they did, I think, uh, God, who did they do? Uh, Snuffy Smith and maybe Popeye too. I think it was those three. And, um, you know, it was kind of, eh, you know, animation, you know, especially looking at it now. But as children, you know, it's it's cartoons, you're going to watch it. 
So I did. And then it wasn't until I think about high school. I can't remember where I discovered some of George Harriman's work. I, I cannot for the life of me remember where I first saw it. Which is odd because usually those revolutionary kind of things I see stay in my brain. But nonetheless, I fell in love with his work. His, his art style, I love, 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 love to this day his landscapes. The surreal desert landscapes. Like if the desert isn't surreal enough, Harriman put a little bit more of a spin on it. I love his little scooped out half moons he'd have in the air. His cactus, the wage room, and the little adobe buildings. And and his characters, Officer Pup, Ignatz, and of course Crazy Cat. And the language he used. He really played with language a lot. And it seemed like the two cartoonists from that time period were um, Walt Kelly, who did Pogo a beautifully drawn strip and he played a lot it was almost like William Faulkner somebody was writing his strips and then of course George Harriman and they both played with language a lot but Harriman more so and um actually George Harriman for those of you that have no idea who I'm talking about but do read like comics in the newspapers uh, I can't remember the band's last name McDonald or whatever he does the cartoon Mutts the comic strip Mutts he's heavily influenced by by Harriman he does his own version of it, but it, it's anyone who, you don't have to be a cartoonist. You can look at it and go, oh yeah, this this guy, he liked George Harriman. He liked Crazy Cat. So there's an example right there. But uh, yeah, this this having this was just, uh, I'm going to find time today to read some more of it at one point. And uh, I got to finish. I read, um, I'm not going to mention who yet because I want to bring that on here probably this week. Um, a graphic novel. uh artist friend of mine cartoonist did and she gave me a copy and signed which was lovely to do she didn't have to so and I read it when I first got home with it uh last year the end of last year and I put it in the stack of stuff to talk about and then now I'm rereading it just to refresh my memory and it's I'm enjoying rereading it it's fun but we'll talk about that probably tomorrow or the next day anyway so here we are seven minutes into your life um, hopefully this distracts you a little bit today. I know the weather's still still screwy. It's not as bad as it was the other day. Um, oh yeah, this is 9-11. This is 19th anniversary. 19 years ago. I remember at this moment, I was probably just coming out of the water in Bolinas. I was surfing that morning. It was a Tuesday. And uh, I was with John Peterson and Steve Braun and I. We were the only three people in the water. And it was a waist high, sunny morning, clean, clean day. I was having a ball. And um, we didn't even know this was going on until we got out of the water and walked back up the beach. And another friend of ours was coming down the beach. And he's usually a pretty gregarious guy and very loud. And this particular morning, he wasn't saying anything. And when he got to us, he said, well, I guess you guys heard. And we're all shrugging, no. And he told us the news. And... Yeah, we walked back. I remember this too. We walked back the rest of the way down the beach and up the ramp uh, in single file. Like, we just didn't say a word. And I remember we drove in John's uh, old Wagoneer, Jeep Wagoneer, the old beater uh, Wagoneer that morning. And we put our boards in, in the Wagoneer. We were changing. We had the radio on and we were listening. Wow, what a day. I remember coming home and I was painting our living room. And my son was in fifth grade. So he stayed home from school that day and we just, I just mostly painted and watched all the, the devastation. So anyway, crazy, crazy times. Incredible. Having the anniversary of a crazy time during a crazy time. Pretty crazy. All right, now we're well, ooh, geez, I'm sorry guys. Okay, we're nine minutes in. Um, I apologize for the length. I'm pretty excited about this crazy cat. Uh, go online if you don't know who I'm talking about. Look up George Harriman, uh, H-E-R-R-I-M-A-N, uh, George. George Harriman. Look at his work. It's it's really cool, man. It's it's really awesome stuff. All right, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining me. If you have to go out today, be sure to mask up. Keep the hands uh, washed and sanitized. Stay away from people. Better yet, stay indoors. Keep yourself and everyone else healthy. And make sure you be kind to yourself and be kind to everyone around you. It's a good thing to do. All right, everyone, don't forget to, uh, what do they call it? Subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks.